Visualize success with Path and Kanban. After completing this unit, you will be able to update record stage or stages using Path, update records in the Kanban view, use filters and view charge in the Kanban view. Lightning experience is designed to give you more options and help you work faster than ever. In this unit, we will explore how the path and the Kanban view can help you track, manage and update your records. Track a deal of path. Path is a simple tool with some powerful features. You may have already noticed it on lead and opportunity records as you work through the other units in this module. Path shows you at a glance where the other record is in your sales process. It's a quick indicator that helps you visualize where you are and where you're going. So you see the path here. Key fields highlight the information you need the most. When you open a record, so you don't have to switch the tabs or scroll around the critical data. If you are new to your job or the company guidance for success, provided that each step on the path can help you come up with speed quickly and make you sure you don't miss any critical activities. Use the path to update the record status by clicking mark status as completed, which you can hear there, or which you can find there. To move the record to the next step on the path, it's easy to select the different stages if your deal loses steam and you need to retract back to a previous stages. Or move so fast you need to skip ahead. Click the step on the path you're moving to and then click mark current status. Manage records in the Kanban view. The Kanban view is a visual summary of the records in a list view. It gives you a big picture view of all your work and lets you easily sort, summarize, filter and move your opportunities along your pipeline. You can use the Kanban view as a workspace. So let's check out the Kanban view for opportunities. Select the opportunity step, select all opportunities list view from the display menu, select Kanban. And then it looks like this. I'm not gonna follow along, but uh, I've already done this before. So basically just as this, we have picked the all opportunities list view because it gives us the most data to work with in this unit, but you can view the common view on almost any list view. And it looks like this. Common view looks simple, but don't be fooled. It's a powerful tool to help you manage your work efficiently. Let's see what you can do. Move an opportunity to the next stage. By default, the Kanban for opportunities is organized by stage. Each column represents one stage. Here's how easy it is to move an opportunity to the next stage in this view. Click any deal in the column on the left. While holding down the mouse, drag the deal's card into a different column. Release the mouse button. So you can see it there. Boom, done. Let's drag from needs analyst to value proposition. Take action on your records. If you need to make other changes, you can do that too. Just click on the arrow down on the Kanban card, which you can see here, and select edit. And this comes up there. Make whatever change you need in the record right within the Kanban view. You can also delete a record or change the opportunity's owner. If an opportunity doesn't have any upcoming task or event, the Kanban card shows a warning symbol to let you know that you might need to set an activity so your deal doesn't stall out. View a chart. Click show charts. One just here. I have a pie chart icon and you see a chart or graph that summarizes the data in your list view in different ways. For example, if you select pipeline by account, you can quickly see which account you have done the most business with. For example, if you select pipeline by account, you can quickly see which accounts you have done the most business with or select pipeline by stage to discover in a glance which stages your deals are in. Hover the mouse over selection of the charge for more details or look below it. So here you can choose like further option. 
and here you can close it so you get back to the normal Kanban view what you want to see in the pipeline stage chart as a chart instead of a donut chart click settings 2 and select a different type of chart when you're done reviewing your chart click the right area 3 to close the chart sidebar or click show charts again filter the Kanban view when business is booming you might want to narrow down your records to see a subset of your records Filters are an easy way to quickly and temporarily reduce the records in your list view to just the ones you are looking for. Click show filters, add filter, add the filter, account name, contains United Oil. Click here and account name United Oil and then you only see United Oil. Click done save. To hide the filter settings, click the right arrow. Now your Kanban view shows just a couple of records deals you have done with the United Oil Plants and by Generators account. You can use the filters to sort your records in multiple ways. For example, you could find deals created after a certain date or deals whose last activity date was in the distant past. Whatever options you use to filter your records, don't forget to disable the filter when you are done. To disable the filter, click remove all and click save. Change up the Kanban view. You probably thought you would learn everything there was to discover about the Kanban view. After all, it looks so simple. But the Kanban view is a powerful tool and there are a few more ways you can use it to view your records. By default, the Kanban view for opportunities organizes your records into columns by stage and shows a summary of the deals in each column based on the sum of the amount of each column's opportunities. But you can change both ways what column records are organized into and what number is used in the summary. Click list control views and select Kanban settings. Change summarized by to expected revenue. Change group by to type. So you can see the settings here, which we are also not going to replicate, at least I'm not going to do that right now. When the Kanban view reloads, it shows your opportunities organized into columns based on the opportunities type. The summary at the top of column is the sum of expected revenue for each type. So it's basically huge, useful if you have a lot of stuff to sort through. Oh, oh it looks like some of you forgot to select a type for a couple of your records. You can click the down arrow and select edit to view the full record and update the type field. But that's all you need to change. You can update the records type more quickly by dragging them to a new column. So you can select the type is none here and you can drag it over to existing customer in case you have like a lot of opportunities where nothing is um, where no type is assigned yet, defined yet, you can just uh, use a common view to kind of like sort this in a more quick way than going through each opportunity manually and then selecting the type. So this is kind of like a quick sorting way to move things through stages, to assign type whenever you are kind of lazy about doing things all at once and you just want to go through things later on, the Kanban view is uh, perfect tool for that. Wrapping it all up, tracking, managing and updating your records is easier than ever with Path and Kanban. The Kanban view is available to all Salesforce users for most objects including leads, tasks and more. Path needs to be enabled and configured by your Salesforce admin. So we get to the quiz here for 100 points, which is not a valid way to update the status of a lead. Mark the status as completed in a path. 
click the desired step on the path, then click mark current status, view the lead record and click edit and change the status field. Change the common view settings group by the two status, drag the record to a different column. In any list view, click shuffle to change up every record status. Shuffle did not come up, so I would go for that. You have a dozen open opportunities from different companies, but when you check the common view of all your open opportunities lists, you only see opportunities for one account. What should you do? Panic, select a different list view, such as recently view, check the filter panel to see if records are being filtered out. Use the search box to search for the opportunities that went missing. Try to attract more opportunities by leaving a ball of candy on your desk overnight. So I would say... Check the filter panel to see if records are being filtered out. Let's see. A dozen open opportunities from the different companies. But when you check the common view of all open opportunities, you only see opportunities for one account. What should you do? Different list view. Yeah, I mean, if it's all opportunities, there should be all opportunities. So in the filter panel, I would say like something is being filtered out there. So let's check the quiz and see if I got everything right. And I got the 100 points and a new batch. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, just type them below. Thank you so much again and have a good day.